Hey OES Lower School, it's Coach Ben here. Uh, today is Wednesday and it is a absolutely beautiful day outside right now. I'm sitting in my backyard here in Southeast Portland and I just want to offer a little bit of encouragement to all of you and maybe a little bit of inspiration. Um, today as it's Wednesday and it's a fitness day, um, Coach Ben is going to do a run here this afternoon. Um, and I hope that all of you get the chance to do a walk or a jog or a run, um, maybe with your parents. Uh, this can be done in your house. This can be done maybe around your house. This can be done in your neighborhood with the parents' permission and supervision. Um, it's really up to you to choose your challenge today. Um, and so I just wanted to offer a couple things to be thinking about when you're um, considering what you can do with your individual space at home. Um, one thing that I focus on is uh, first figuring out my distance, uh, my goal distance. So um, usually that is about five to nine miles for Coach Ben right now. Um, but maybe for you, if you're walking around your neighborhood, maybe it's a mile, maybe it's a mile and a half, maybe it's two. Um, whatever your goal distance is, just be thinking about that and keeping that in mind when you prepare for your walk run. Um, another thing is your route. Uh, so you want to choose a route um, that makes sense for you and your space. Um, for maybe some of you, it's uh, creating laps inside of your house that you're walking around. Maybe you have a way to walk through your kitchen and your living room um, and then back around in a loop. Um, and you can actually figure out how much uh, that is distance wise um, by just calculating the steps. Um, maybe you have a, a parent help you out trying to figure out what the distance is. Um, but that actually goes into my next thing to consider, which is um, actually tracking your, your run or walk. Um, and the way that I do that is through my Apple Watch here. Um, and a lot of you have fitness trackers or Fitbits. Um, that you're more than welcome to use. Um, potentially you could use a parent's phone or an iPad uh, to track your distance. Um, and then you can also uh, use uh, different ways to estimate um, how far you, you, walk, you walked or run. Um, you can do that through using Google Maps or you can use that by just counting your steps and then multiplying it. Um, so maybe just uh, talk to a parent if you don't have a fitness tracker and maybe they can help you estimate. Um, but uh, it's really just getting a, a kind of an idea of where you're at. You don't have to get the exact precise amount. It's just an estimation. Um, an estimation is just kind of a figure that's close to what you think it is, what it, what it actually is. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, and then the last thing that I want you guys to consider uh, is your breathing and stretching awareness. So what I mean by breathing awareness um, is you don't need to use any sort of breathing strategy when you're walking or running, um, but just kind of be aware of the breaths that you're taking in and the breaths that you're taking out. For Coach Ben when he's on his runs, um, usually I use two in and, or sorry, yeah, two in and one long breath out. So I'm going, Or when I'm running, it's probably. And just kind of being aware of that. I don't need to think about it too much or overthink it, um, but just kind of being aware of my breaths, making sure that I'm um, bringing in the necessary oxygen and air that my lungs need, and then breathing out accordingly. Um, so just be aware of that today when you're walking and running. And then the other thing is your stretching routine. It's very, very important. So um, what I like to do is uh, I spend about two to five minutes before I go on my run to make sure I'm stretching um, not just my legs, but also my arms. Um, and I do that by holding each of the stretches that I, I, I do um, for at least 10 seconds. Okay, so it's not, it's not only important to stretch out your legs, it's also important to stretch out your arms and your backs, um, especially for me. I, it's, a, it's a very important thing for me to stretch out my back because I get really um, sore lower back uh, sometimes when I sleep, and then also my ankles because um, I, I have to wear special shoes to support my ankles um, because I am prone to getting, uh, to rolling an ankle. 
or to hurting my ankles in that way. So stretching is very important before, two to five minutes beforehand, and then uh, five to 10 minutes afterwards. So make sure that um, all the stretches that you did beforehand, you're doing um, those same ones afterward, um, and then even more ones. Uh, so if you just did a bunch of standing stretching um, at the start, maybe at the end, do some um, stretching that involves some sitting as well. Okay, so there are a lot of good stretches that you can um, to you that you can use, um, but just make sure that uh, you're you're uh, doing at least five to ten minutes total of stretching, both before and afterward. Um, and that's really all the encouragement I have for you today. I hope that everyone gets outside at some point to enjoy the beautiful weather we're having. Um, and I just encourage you all to uh, do whatever kind of exercise and movement that works for your schedule and your space. We've been loving so much getting to see you guys post videos and pictures, so keep doing that. Um, we miss you so much, and uh, we hope to see everyone very soon. All right, bye.